compounds and elements. Hydrogen is an element because it has the same types of atoms and each molecule of hydrogen is H2. Nitrogen oxide is a compound because each molecule of nitrogen oxide has the formula NO. As in, one atom of nitrogen and one atom of oxygen is there in every molecule of nitrogen oxide. Oxygen is an element because it has the same types of atoms. Oxygen. And each molecule of oxygen has the same type of atoms and the formula is O2. Nitrogen. It is also an element because the molecule of nitrogen has the same types of atoms, only nitrogen atoms, and the formula is N2. Chlorine. Chlorine is also an element, not a compound, because each molecule of chlorine only has chlorine atoms, and the formula is Cl2. Water. So this is a compound. Each molecule of water has two types of atoms, hydrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen dioxide. It is a compound because each molecule of nitrogen dioxide has two types of atoms, nitrogen and oxygen. And the formula is NO2. Carbon dioxide. It is also a compound because each molecule of carbon dioxide has two types of atoms, carbon and oxygen. So friends, elements have the same types of atoms. Each molecule of an element has the same types of atoms, and the molecule is the smallest unit of matter that carries all the properties of that matter. Compounds have more than one type of atom, and each molecule of that compound have all the properties of that compound. There are many more examples of compounds. Sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid, carbonic acid, sulfuric acid, calcium carbonate, all of these are compounds, as in, each molecule of these compounds have more than one type of atoms bonded together in a fixed ratio. And each molecule will all have the same properties of that compound. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye